30 Plus is a European FP7 funded project under the Biotechnologies, Agriculture and Food Programme. The project team has a total of 14 partners to represent Europe. Partners come from the Netherlands, Belgium, Germany, United Kingdom, Italy and Spain. 30 Plus started in December 2011 and will develop activities until November 2015. Plus focuses on urban and farm organic waste. We have four challenges. We identify the sources of waste and the valuable components in that waste. We aim to enhance the return and recycling of these wastes or the components in that waste to agriculture or industry. And we identify innovative technologies to convert organic waste into valuable and safe products products that benefit the economy and the environment. We focus on compost and biochar. The challenge is to identify the best combination and composition of compost and biochar to improve soil fertility and crop production, and to introduce its use in the EU market and fit the requirements of the EU fertilizer legislation with safe products. This should give end users new options to sustain and improve crop production and crop value. Our principal aim is to improve our understanding why compost and biochar or combinations do work for farmers. We need to identify product quality and relate this to farmers' expectations. The activities of 30 Plus includes a work package specifically devoted to the agronomical and environmental evaluation of biochars. We are testing a wide range of biochars prepared by other partners of the project. We at CSIC, the Spanish National Research Council, we are coordinating the activities of this work package. We are also running a long-term experiment on the addition of biochar in an olive orchard. Olive trees represent one of the most important cultivars in Mediterranean countries. We are comparing the addition of biochar and the mixture of biochar and compost, and we compare to the traditional agricultural practices in the area, which consist in the use of compost. Olive trees are, uh, grow slowly and it will take some time to see the results in the trees. But so far, we have a promising results on the interaction of biochar and compost, since we have seen a, a positive impact on the soil microbiology. And we expect to have a positive impact on soil fertility. The production of vegetables under greenhouse conditions in the south of Spain is associated with high levels of nitrates in agricultural soils and in groundwater. The adoption by farmers of new management practices focuses on the reduction of this pollution is necessary in this intensive production system. The use of biochar as a soil amendment could be an interesting solution to reduce the pollution with the promotion of its use as a substitute of a proportion of money that is periodically applied by farmers. The objective of this field trial is the evaluation of the effects producing the soil plant system during a tomato crop develop under greenhouse conditions in Almeria, after the application of soil amendments to an imported soil using different combinations of manure and biochar. During this field trial, four different soil amendments have been evaluated using semi-dried manure and biochar produced from oak trees and two different irrigation and fertilization strategies have been applied. The parameters that have been evaluated during this field trial are the chemical characterization of the soil, the concentration of nitrates in the soil solution, the nutritional status of the crop, the production of aerial biomass and yield by the crop, 
and evaluation of different quality parameters in commercial fruits produced by the tomato crop. Agricultural Research Council activity in the project mainly dealt with composting process, laboratory experiments and field trials. In the first activity we showed that utilizing biochar in composting had a clear positive effect on the performance of the process as it decreased both nitrogen losses and the time required for compost stabilization. Results of laboratory incubation pointed out to the beneficial effect of biochar in reducing soil greenhouse gases emissions. Field trials data underlined the merit of compost as alternative to chemical fertilizers as it provides a low but steady supply of available nitrogen that is crucial to avoid element deficiencies and to improve crop productivity and quality. Together with my colleagues, we are involved in the FertiPlus project. Our role in the project is to examine what happens if compost, biochar or a mix of both products is added to the soil. More specifically, we look at the effects on crop yield, soil biodiversity and soil quality. Several regions in Europe have very high soil phosphorus loads. This is due to the high uh, levels of animal manure which were applied in the past. These soils need, however, carbon, story, carbon input in the soil. By using compost or biochar, we can provide very stable carbon without increasing the risk of phosphorus leaching. If we apply composts, biochar or biochar blended composts with very high carbon levels and low phosphorus levels. At ILVO we perform field trials and pot trials. In these pot trials we look at the effects of biochar or compost on the growth and the disease suppressiveness of strawberry, potatoes and lettuce. In some cases we think that these amendments to the soil can increase the suppressiveness or can increase the strength of plants to pathogens and diseases. We tested it and in some cases it was very positive but the results were variable depending on the crop we used but also on the type of amendment we used and also on the substrate, whether we used soil or potting soil for our tests. In the first field trial, we tested the effect of a single application of biochar, compost or biochar blended compost on soil quality. Here we saw that we could increase the carbon content of the topsoil, but there was no change in soil quality or in soil biodiversity. Or even in crop yield there was no effect. In the second trial, we tested the effect of repeated application of compost. In this trial, we saw an increase of carbon content in the topsoil for the compost, but also an increase in the soil biodiversity, and we could also see that the risk of phosphorus leaching was not increased by using the compost. In other words, we need to know what to put on the bag of the product and what to expect by farmers.